Hello everyone, welcome to our channel exam point notes. This is the part two of, of unit one, the living world. In the first part, we have covered the discoveries and development of scientists and the second kingdom classification. Let's do a quick revision of second kingdom classification. Second kingdom classification was developed by Carlos Linnaeus, categorized all living organism in two primary parts, plantae and animalia. The basic difference between these two classification were response to stimuli, mode of nutrition, locomotion and cell wall. Now let's see the third kingdom classification. Third kingdom classification were, was developed by Hackel and it was about protista. In protista, lack well defined boundary is present, lack tissue differentiation. The fourth kingdom classification was proposed by Herbert Copeland. It divides living organism into Monera, protista, plantae, and animalia. All organisms of the fourth kingdom classification are microscopic. Now, fifth kingdom classification. Fifth kingdom classification was proposed by R.H. Whitaker in 1969. He categorized living organism into five kingdoms, Monera, Protista, Fungi, Plantae and Animalia. The most important kingdoms are second kingdom classification and fifth kingdom classification. Second kingdom classification was given by Carlos Linnaeus and fifth kingdom classification was given by R.H. Whitaker. In first, the second kingdom classification, it is divided into Plantae and Animalia. And in fifth kingdom classification, it is divided into Plantae, Animalia, Protista, Monera and Fungi. The basic classification is done by mode of nutrition, thallus organization, reproduction, phylogeny and cell structure. The mode of nutrition is very common in both of both kingdom classification. Now let's study about prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Prokaryotes and eukaryotes are the two fundamental types of cell distinguished primary by the presence or absence of nucleus or other membrane bound organelles. In prokaryote, nucleus is absent and in eukaryotes, nucleus is present. Monera is a prokaryote and plantae animalia, protista and fungi is a eukaryote. Prokaryotic cells like those found in bacteria and archaea lack a nucleus and membrane bound organelles while eukaryote cells found in plantae, animals, fungi, protista possesses both nucleus and other org organelles. It is further divided into unicelled and multicelled. Protista is a unicelled and plantae, animalia and fungi is a multicelled. And further plantae, animalia, fungi is divided into autotroph is divided into autotroph and heterotroph. Or plants are autotrophs which make their own food with the use of sunlight. And heterotrophs, animalia and fungi are heterotrophs which depend upon plants for food. They, now further, animalia and fungi are divided on the basis of presence of cell wall and absence of cell wall. Fungi have cell wall present in it and animals do not have cell walls present in it. So here we have discussed the classifications of kingdom. Now let's see some important full forms. ICBN. ICBN is international code for the for botanical nomenclature. ICZN. It is international code for zoological nomenclature. And ICNB. It is international code for nomenclature of bacteria. Now let's discuss our next topic that is seven categories of taxonomy studies. The seven main categories of taxonomy studies are kingdom, phylum or division, class, order, family, genus and the last is species. These categories are used to classify and organize living organism based on shared characteristics with each level represented 
adopting a progressive more specific grouping these are arranged in ascending or descending orders in ascending order the similarities decrease and in descending order the similarities increases uh, for example in species more similarities are found here a pyramid is made to explain whole ranks if the rank goes upward it is in ascending order in if the rank go downward then it is in descending order now let's see the difference between taxon and category taxon deals with an object a taxon refers to a specific group of organism at a particular level of a taxonomic hierarchy like species genus and family a category on the other hand is an abstract which deals with rank or level with the hierarchy such as species genus or family itself now let's discuss these categories individually first is species species is a group of individual having fundamental similarities that is body form shape behavior but we can distinguish one species from another close related species based on distinct morphological difference such as external appearance for example lion tiger and leopard these bo these have fundamental similarities but we can distinguish one species from another close related species now let's see biological species concept it was given by ernst meyer it is a group of individual or or potentially interbreeding population that are reproductive isolated from other such group in simpler terms a biological species is a group of organism that can reproduce together and produce fertile offspring and that cannot reproduce with other groups this concept emphasizes the importance of reproductive isolation in maintaining species boundaries for example horse and donkey together form hinny and new hinny is a offspring of male horse and female donkey whereas mule is a offspring of female horse and male donkey similarly tiger and lion produces tiger and liger lion tiger and leopard are the examples of species now next is genus genus is a group of closely related species suggest common ancestry for example panther panther is a genus and lion tiger and leopard is a species felis is a genus jungle cat fish cat and golden cat are the species canis is a genus and dog wolf and jackal are the species solenum is a genus and potato brinjal and makai is a species you must note that they are not different breed they are different species now next is family family is a group of closely related genus and families are classified on the basis of both vegetative and reproductive for example felidae is a family panther and felis is a genus and lion tiger leopard is a species of panther and cats are species of felis felis sort of now canidae canidae is a family canis is a genus and dog and wolf are species similarly solanthia is a family solenum petunia and dhatura are the genus and potato brinjal and makai are the species now order order is a group of closely related family for example carnivora is a order felidae is a family panthera and felis are the genus and lion tiger leopard and cats are the species canidae is a family canis is a genus and dog and wolf are family polymonial is a order solanthia 
and convolutia are the family solanum petunia and dhatura are genus potato brinjal magai are species and sweet potato is a species now class class is a group of closely related orders for example mammalia is a class primate and carnivora is a order Felidae and Canidae is a family. Panthera, Felis, and Canis are genus. And lion, tiger, leopard, cats, dog, and wolf are the species. Our next topic is taxonomical aid. Taxonomical aids are the tool and techniques used to identify, classify, and study diversity of living organisms. These aids help to understand the relationship between species and characteristics of theirs. First is herbarium. Herbarium is a collection of preserved plants, specimens, typically stored and maintained for scientific studies, research, and education. Herbariums play a crucial role in botanical research, plant conservation, and education. Steps of herbarium are first collect. Then dry, then press, then poison, then pesticides spray. It is an example of herbarium nameplate. Herbarium nameplate is also known as label provides essential information about the preserved plant specimen. Typically placed on the lower right corner of herbarium seed. It is 11 and half inch broad and 16 and half inch long. It contains botanical name, collector name, date of collection, English name, family, place of collection, local name. These are the steps of Harvanium. Some taxonomical eight terms. Exitu and in situ are the taxonomical eight terms. Here exitu means species that are born at another place and shifted to different place and in in situ the species are born and kept at the same place the difference between conservation and preservation is conservation is done for living organism and preservation is done for dead organism now herbaria herbaria are of two type minor herbaria and major herbaria Minor herbaria store local plants and major herbaria store distance plant species. Next is botanical garden. Botanical garden is controlled environment where plants are cultivated, maintained and displayed for scientific research, education, conservation and recreation. Exe to living conservation. Botanical garden examples are Liot Botanical Garden which is present in Darjeeling. National Botanical Garden present in Lucknow, Royal Botanical Garden present in, in England and Indian Botanical Garden present in Havra. Herbarium is associated with Botanical Garden. Royal Botanical Garden has largest herbarium in the world. Next is Museum. Museum is an institution that collects, preserves and exhibits artifacts, artworks or scientific specimens for education, research and public enjoyment. It contains plants, animals, skeletons, arts, exotive, ex situ, dead preservations. Purpose is education. Preservation are of two types wet preservation and dry preservation. Wet is done for any animal part, should be stored in formalin and dry for small animals, collect, kill, and pin in the small box and for large animals collect kill and stuffing is done next is zoological park which is commonly known as zoo is facility that houses and displays a variety of animal often for conservation education and research purpose it contains animals ex situ and conservation it provides habitat similar to natural habitat, provide information about habitats and behavior, behaviors. 
Now the video is about to end. Let's do a quick revision. Herbanium. It contains plants HZ2 and preservation. Botanical garden. Plant HZ2 and conservation. Museum. Plant animal skeleton. Arts HZ2 and preservation. And zoo or zoological park. Animals HZ2 and conservation. Similar con condition is provided. Understanding about habitats and their behaviors. Now, taxonomical key. List of characters for identification based on similarities. And dissimilarities. It helps in the selection of one species and rejection of other species based on contrasting characters. Statements occur in pair couplets. Statements occur in selection of, of species called as lead and analytical in nature. Four types of book. Flora, manual, monograph and catalog. Flora have few characters and divide into habitat and distribution and have index. Manual have many characters. Complete list of characters for identification. Monograph only one taxon and catalog alphabetical arrangement of species given area. Characters of living are divided into observ observable and non-observable. Its growth, reproduction, observable characters and sensitivity and metabolism, replication and organization. Growth characters of living but it is not defining property of living increases in any parameter size volume length weight growth is of two types int intrinsic growth and extrinsic growth it is internal it is external reproduction characters of living not defining feature of living infertile couple mule and hini are also living but they can't reproduce reproduction is of two types asexual and sexual asexual contains one parent and clone and two sexual contain two parrots and variation. Sensitivity, awareness, consciousness, characters as well as defining feature response to external stimulus. self consciousness this is property of humans. Metabolism. Some total of some total of all the reactions which are present inside living beings. Catabol metabolism metabolism are of two types anabolism and catabolism anabolism is construction or formation and catabolism is breakdown metabolism is a defining property of living any isolated metabolic reaction outside the body perform test tube is neither living or non-living thing but is a living reaction now replication and dna is there organization coma patients sensitivity sensitivity absent but metabolism present there is no single property which can differentiate there is no single property which can differentiate between living and non living things and growth and replication reproduction is there for unicellular organism and for multicellular organism reproduction and growth are mutually exclusive. Here the first chapter of unit 1 is completed. Subscribe to our channel.